Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season two of Miss Kobayashi's Main Dragon. Oh my god, we are finally here, four fucking years later. And finally, this show has a season two. Like, oh my god, this just it makes me wish I had my old channel back, but of course, YouTube is a dipshit and you know, assholes. <laughs> So, because, like, oh my god, like, dead ass. This wasn't one of the first animes that I did, but for 2017, this and Saga and Shining Evil, yeah, they were, like, kind of the most important ones because at that year, that was when I was, like, really doing this, like, full time. And even though I'm still doing it full time, you know, I'm gonna be balancing a job and everything. But yeah, I'm just so excited. Like, oh my god. I might like, cry. <laughs> probably cry but other than that let's go to get started with episode one and three two one go Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Wait, Toru! <Tara! sighs> oh, damn. That quick. Looks so good. Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god! That looks so nice. Cause she's that dedicated. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's not bad to have a job. It's just extra money for you. <laughs> yeah, but you don't get paid. Yeah, you know, like food service and people in food service, you know, that customer is always right-ish. Sometimes they can be a big asshole sometimes. Yeah. And your baby, oh my god! 
How did that go? <laughs> What d Oh, those look so good. I think you're fine like this. By the end of this season, I'm just gonna be a crying mess over Kana. <laughs> Once again! <laughs> oh shit. No! Uh, Toro! <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm good. You know, I don't want that. That looks so good. Oh, damn. Maybe loca? <laughs> of course, yeah. Alma ain't gonna do it because she went sweet. Oh, 
There she is. Well, except that one, because she's coming out right now. How do you say your name? Eat it in? Eat it in. I wasn't expecting this all up in the first episode. I mean, uh, damn! <laughs> oh, of course, just like the rest of you. I, I know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh oh, great. Hmm. You can't do anything else? Hmm. And Connor will probably say the same thing. And Lulu just gonna get up like, like it's nothing, right? Oh? That's it? Damn, I was kind of expecting more out of her. Oh. 
<laughs> you did good. Excuse me. Oh, damn. Cute. I can already see a lot of drawings of Lulu in the future. Hell, even, you know, way before this first episode got posted and announced. Probably when that PV came out. <laughs> is not the greatest thing. <laughs> You're not gonna let up, are you? Also, can we get her some shoes, please? I'm just saying, like, poor baby. I don't want her to walk around barefoot everywhere. She'll probably get sick. God, she's so pretty and cute.
But damn, hold the fuck up. You just gonna leave? She just left like that? <laughs> What's up? No, <laughs> oh, poor baby. <laughs> Don't you hate when all your like data of something just goes away? Oh my god, it sucks. Okay, um, editor. I really like her. She's cute. She's adorable. Little bit, you know. Mm, God. Would we say. <sighs> smart ass. There you go. A little bit of a smart ass. Probably even a hard ass, too. Yeah, just mainly more of a smart ass. But. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just like her. I like her just as much as I love everyone else. But I think it should, it's going to take me a little bit more to like warm up to her because she is very cold and distant in a way. And so she's taking her time trying to figure out like, oh, if she can really truly trust Kobayashi. I don't know what the hell she did to Kobayashi. Uh, it would be either weird of one of two things. One, Kobayashi is pregnant. I, I, I don't know how she could have done that. Uh, or two... This girl probably gave Kobayashi a dick. I don't know. I I'm trying to think because she's like, oh my god, I'm like what? The? And I'm like, eh! <laughs> like I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. But yeah, of course she is adorable. But it, but it seems like the reason why she doesn't trust humans, um, says that humans and dragons can't, you know, coexist together is because from that preview, <clears throat> it shows her. Uh, yeah, I think she's going to be appearing a lot more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want that. Oh my god. Just give me a figure of Kana dressed as the magical girl. I need that, please, in my life. Or just a figure of Kana in, <laughs> in general. But as I was saying, so her flashback is of a little girl with a doll that looks like her. And then fire. So I'm guessing... The little girl was friends with Iridu and then maybe gained her trust and it's like that because of course if you're a friend you're going to be you're going to be trusting no one no matter what but maybe she took back that trust or something bad happened maybe her parents did something or the entire village kingdom whatever wherever this happened um possibly only wanted her just to you know destroy her because of course like you know humans and dragons can't coexist and da 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 and this is that and the third so they're like oh, okay hey you want to be friends with this little girl ah now we're gonna beat the crap out of you we might even kill you but of course like it didn't happen because she is still alive right now but whatever it is she still must be traumatized by this situation and that's why she's very hesitant and trusting Kobayashi so I'd say maybe give it about four or five episodes into this series and once we really get into Edidu's backstory and learning about what the true story is about her and the answers that we need to know then maybe she'll start trusting Kobayashi but I feel like yeah because Kobayashi is such you know a kind gentle sweet person and same thing with like fucking Makoto with Shota um I just think Loka needs to spend more time not only with Kobayashi but the other two humans that everyone has made friends with and to say oh hey like you know here's two other people besides Kobayashi who have been friends with us since the beginning and you know not only befriended us but now we live with them except you know Alma because you know Alma's on her own independent bitch. Um, <laughs> but look at the family we've made with them 
and such and saying that yeah humans and dragons can coexist without anything happening but honestly i really have no idea what the hell is gonna happen next i dead ass cannot wait to see because of course it's I miss this show so damn much, and I hate the fact that this episode went by so fucking quickly. Oh my god, because <laughs> this, this whole series might go by so fucking quickly, and the next thing you know, we're gonna be in a fall, and I'm gonna be like, oh my god, are we getting Kobayashi season three? But like, I'm so happy that this show is back in my life. I thought we would never, ever see anything about this show return, because as like okay as someone who loves the shit out of kana i will watch like almost any show or say he was in so this mm, we're still counting it as one so i think now there's like set, mm, fuck it it's like three shows that i've seen besides well no two shows besides this after kobayashi and of course any character who she plays i'm instantly like yep you're, you're my child i love you i'm gonna make The fact that my Kana, my baby, my precious child was back in my fucking life. Like, oh my god, I'm so fucking happy. I just, I can't wait to see more cute moments of Kana because I'm just gonna cry or scream or fangirl or something because I did it in season one. Hell, remember the damn fucking, um, mm, the field day or sports day episode where, like, <laughs> in a reaction mashup, literally all of us, it's just a whole bunch of guys and I'm the only chick. And literally, we're all cheering for Kana. Like, Kana is just our child. Like, everybody in the fucking comment section that day was like, yeah, everyone is literally just standing, sitting here, watching this episode, acting like Kana is their child. I was like, fuck yeah, because she is! It's like, oh my god, she's so fucking precious, and I love her so much. Like, precious baby girl, like, just protect her once again. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of season two of Miss Kobayashi May Dragon. I'm always gonna say it wrong no matter what. But if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the match squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode two bye guys